Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm here with um, actually a couple of new things. Uh, most of it I've used before, but I'm trying to do a little bit different of a look today and trying to combine neutral with some color without going really overboard. And I do have uh, my hair done here, so yeah, that's new. That's new. And um, let's go ahead and get started. I use the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation in 04 Neutral. So that's what I have on there. I also have the ColourPop uh, concealer on, the Pretty Fresh concealer as well. As far as what I use for the face, I went ahead and used the Dream Team by Physicians Formula. And so I went ahead and used uh, this one right here for the bronzer, uh, this one for the blush. I did mix in a little bit of this one, but it's mostly this one. And then this for the highlighter. So that's what I have on the face there. And then as far as what I did for the eyes, I wanted to go ahead and do something more neutral, but with a pop of color and try to do, you know, pretty subtly. So um, I went ahead and used feeling bubbly and I really haven't used this too often. I got it, I don't know, about a month um, or so ago and well today's the first day that I think I've done or put it on camera. So I have this one for my base, uh, this one on the inner corner and then I went ahead and used a little bit of this, uh, this on the lid and then this one over here on the outer corner and um, that's what I have on as far as uh, part of the eye look. And then I went ahead and used the Desert Sage by Profusion. And uh, this one is Feeling Bubbly by ColourPop. And then as far as the Profusion one, um, I went ahead and used a little bit of this on the inner corner. And it's a very pretty sparkly shade. And then I put this um, as eyeliner. Uh, right in the, yeah, close to the inner corner. And then on the outer corner for eyeliner, I used this color. So I used uh, both of these colors right there, uh, the green and the olive. And um, I used this green one as well as far as the inner corner and just for a pop of color. And this is how the eye uh, turned out. So, again, wanting to go ahead and use green, but not have green all over. Uh, the other one I used was the Heroin Glow 2 by Juvia's Place, and this uh, the packaging for that. And then I used some of this as far as a highlighter. I went ahead and added some of this as well. So, uh, this is the look that I came up with. I'm hoping that you like it. And, um, uh, what else did I do? Oh, I did go ahead and use a little bit of Hourglass, the Ambient Palette, and this is what I've been playing with here. I used uh, this color right down the middle of the face, and then I used um, this color on the sides of the face, so uh, that's my finishing powder. And I've had the great good fortune of uh, trying out a whole bunch of finishing powders uh, this year, and it's been sort of my pet project, so I'll be doing a video on those here pretty soon. But um, for this video, I just wanted to go ahead and see how this looks. A couple other things that, of course, I forgot to mention. Um, I did use the NYX on the Rise and then the Double Trouble Mascara by Essence, so I did go ahead and use these. And then the NYX Thicket Stick It in Light Ash, um, Cool Ash Brown, actually, uh, to go ahead and do the brows with. And on the lips, I have a City of Stars. So this one is the Just a Tint by ColourPop. And let's see here. And so that's how this one came out. And uh, yeah, I just really like that color a lot. Um, and the Just a Tense Taste 
uh, like passion fruits. It's always really fun to go ahead and wear those. Uh, Disco Gloss by um, Juvia's Place. Get some of that on there. Yeah, I think this look is all finished up. And so I did the hair myself. And yes, it's dark, but um, it does... I like to... I like it as it fades, so that's kind of the thought behind the hair right now. And um, I think that's just about everything. Um, I hope you liked the video, and have a great weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye!